idea soaring throughout our lifetimes. What if I could travel in time? What if I could see the future? What if the future were in ruins? What if I saved the world with the Kyoto Protocol? Some of you may be thinking, the, the Kyoto Pro what? <laughs> the Kyoto Protocol is for the UNFCCC, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, an organization with an ambit to solve the world apocalyptic problem known and understood as global warming. Now, I know many adults, especially my parents, are probably saying, oh, global warming, we're doing it, it's okay. However, I shall give you many alluring facts and figures as to why you should think this to be true. <laughs> but first, the greenhouse effect. A series of, there are a series of gases located around the world that let in 51% of the sun's rays. The gases contain nitrous oxide, sulfur hexafluoride, methane, and carbon dioxide. What a mouthful. However, we are adding on to this by factories and cars leading to drought in Africa, flooding in UK, and struggling of little baby polar bears in Arctic areas. Doesn't he look cute? You want to know why? Here's an example. The average American produces 140 pounds of CO2 a day. Multiply that by 365 a year, and then by 320 million, that makes a lot of CO2. Imagine more countries doing the exact same thing, polluting and causing more problems for the environment. Which leads on to my next topic, Canada. The Canadian Environmental Minister, Peter Ken, said it would cost each family $1,600 to be part of the Kyoto Protocol. This may be true. However, wouldn't you pay to live another 50 years? I certainly would. I, I would be very happy knowing there'd be a better future. And they don't need to tax people with this fee. I mean, the government should really just pay for it themselves, you know? There are 191 countries already in the Kyoto Protocol. Many of you now are probably thinking, why am I standing up here going on and on and on about something that's already done? However, America and Canada and areas such as South Sudan, Andorra and Afghanistan can produce a lot as well. Annexed areas, for example, have reduced 5.8% of their emissions between the periods of 2008 and 2012. Many of you are thinking right now, how do you know they're telling the truth? The areas signed in the Kyoto Protocol are legally bound to write a fully detailed report about what they're emitting, what they're reducing, and any ideas they have come up with. If they do not comply with the minimum requirements of the protocol, they can get fined and kicked out of the protocol. They deserve it anyway. No, what I said before. Happy Arctic, oh, sorry, Antar an Antarctic animals for you geographers. Knowing they're safe, living for 100 years, we want to continue our history, yeah? And kids like me, no, I'm a teenager and life's different. Um, knowing running across hills, knowing they're safe and free from all problems. Don't you want that to happen? But back on Canada, I'd certainly do anything to help. Seriously, I'd pay all of my allowance for that. Now, this quote is from Only Fools and Horses, a British TV show which a few of you might recognize. Made read from Nicholas Lindhurst. We do not own this world. We are merely the leaseholders. It is our duty to protect the environment and ourselves from harm. Remember what I said in the start? What if I could save the world? I'm just a kid, no, sorry, teenager. I can't do anything. But I'm going to change it a bit. Not if, it's not going to still say, what if I save the world? It's not going to be, what if you save the world? But what if we save the world? 
What if we save the world together? Thank you. <laughs>